Welcome everyone to my rev video review of the Tuxedo Touch, the 6280i home automation and security controller from Honeywell. Uh, what we're going to do is going to do a brief run through of the different screens and how to access them on this device. Uh, just so you can also see how it responds in a real time environment. So we're going to go to security first. Uh, in here you're going to see the different modes. Night is for arm, arming the door sensors and glass breaks while not arming the motion sensors. So if you have to get in the middle, up in the middle of the night, use the bathroom, get some water, whatever, uh, you're not going to set off your alarm. Stay is similar. It's basically for the daytime. Arm the doors and windows sensors. Leave the motions off. Away will arm all sensors, so any sensors detecting movement or having a fault, in other words, uh, at any time during that away session will set off the alarm. Uh, disarm will, of course, disarm the system, and when completed, will show ready to arm. Uh, you can also go into more choices here. Console mode is where you can program your, tuxedo, your alarm panel. Uh, you can also go to show zones. I'll show you that briefly. Uh, so you'll see in here I have a front door, back door, a bunch of different sensors. You'll also see the long range radio on there and uh, the RF receiver, which is my 5800 series receiver. You'll see event logs, so that's where you see any logs for issues you have on your system. Uh, what you can also do is you can go to automation. I currently have no automation devices on here, but if I did, uh, you would be able to see different scenes, and then I would be able to go into the different scene and set them up. Uh, you can set them up by zone, you can edit the scenes, various things like that. Um, and then, of course, you can go to multimedia. Uh, this is where you can view camera feeds, record a message, uh, view videos that have been recorded. Uh, go to pictures that are on a SD card. I didn't put the SD card that came with the tuxedo in there. I don't need it. Um, and then you can also do event view, which is basically uh, motion sensed uh, recordings. Uh, then, of course, you can also go to the settings here and you can go to display and audio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in my code so that I can show you those. And inside here, you're going to see chime mode, voice mode, and voice chime. That basically lets my system uh, do this. So I open my door, and fault front door. it just says, you know, fault front door. Depending on which door or whatever sensor is faulted. I can set different settings in here. Um, if you're interested, just look in the manual. They're all in there. Uh, you can also go to system where you can set up the different user settings if you're logging in uh, to it through different uh, through the back end. I can do time and date setup in here, um, which again, I'll put in my code. And inside there, you're gonna see uh, current date and time. Uh, you also have daylight savings time, and you can do get time to make sure that it updates that properly. Uh, advanced setup. And once again, I'm entering my code, and in there I can do the night setup, keypad tests, output setup, various things. Uh, you won't really use those much of the time. Um, and then what you can also do is you can go to your SD card. I have no SD card in there, but if I did with pictures, I could go and view those pictures on there. Uh, if you touch this, it will also display the weather. And... That's pretty much uh, the Tuxedo Touch. Um, if you have a dis if you have a duress situation, you can always touch this button, automatically, um, basically set off the alarm. Uh, alternatively, I would set up the duress code with a different uh, than default code, and that way, if say someone breaks into your home and you're and you're there, and they tell you to disarm the system, you can enter the duress code it'll give the appearance of disarming the system, but also at the same time, send an alert to your central monitoring station, i.e. your alarm company, that you're in duress and they need to send authorities. So that is my video review, and thank you very much. Bye.